Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good evening, good afternoon. Thank you to all my brothers and sisters from all around the world. I just want to greet you and say thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you studying the Word of God each day with me. I pray the Lord would continually and richly bless you in everything that you do and say according to His Word and to His wishes. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for each and every one of your children that are tuning in, that are listening to this Word. In Jesus Christ's name of Nazareth, Yeshua Mashiach, Amen. And today I just want to thank each and every one of the mothers. Mother's Day is on Sunday. I want to thank each and every one of the mothers, whether you're in America or outside of America. But in America, we celebrate in the Mother's Day. And I have several scriptures that I want to share with the mothers from my heart and see how God really, the mother is the one of the first teachers of the children. So I'm going to be reading from Proverbs 31, verse 25. And this is what it says about the virtuous woman. She is a mother also, and she had children. These two, these couple verses, strength and honor are in her clothing, and she shall rejoice in the time to come. She opened up her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue is the law of kindness. She look well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praise her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excels them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Amen. And we find today that we have a lot of single mothers and the load is placed upon her shoulders. And we have a lot of married mothers, the husband either in the military or they're working on the road and the responsibility is on the mother's shoulder. My prayer today is for each and every one of the mothers that the Lord will surround you with ministering angels, with guiding angels, with protective angels, and that you, God would pour out his wisdom, his knowledge and understanding upon you, that you may be able to guide and teach your children in the way of the Lord. And I'll be reading also from Psalm 127 verse 3. Lord, children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Amen. Isaiah 49, 15. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yeah, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Amen. Proverbs 22, 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, he or her should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from him. So every mother must train up the child in the Lord. You must mention Jesus. You must teach a child to pray. This is what the good mothers do. Proverbs 6 20. My son, keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of thy mother. So we find that a lot of mothers don't steer their children to God in today. But for all the mothers out there, 
that they are trying. They may not know the Lord. They may not know the Bible. They may not know the verses. But they're doing the best they can. Isaiah 66, 13. As one whom his mother comforted, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comfort in Jerusalem. And we must remember the name El Shaddai. El Shaddai in the Hebrew means breastfeeder. When my mother and my father forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Amen. And that's in Psalms 37. For those who have suffered and have lost or grew up in foster care, I pray for you today that the Lord will comfort you. That the Lord will comfort you in your bereavement, in your loss of your mother. That the Lord will surround you and comfort your heart with ministering angels. Because my mother is long gone to be with the Lord. Proverbs 23, verse 22 through 25. Hearken unto thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. By the truth, and sell it not, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that begat it, a wise child, shall have joy of him or her. Thy father and thy mother shall be glad, and she shall bear thee, and she that bear thee shall rejoice. So, the children make their mother happy. Children supposed to make their mother happy and glad. And we pray for the children today that have turned their back against their mothers. Go back to your mother. Ask forgiveness to your mother. Humble yourself unto your mother. I pray the Lord will continually minister to you and minister to your soul forgive your mother some children will not forgive their mother i pray today that you will forgive your mother even if she is past and long gone to be with the lord exodus 20 12 honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the lord that giveth thee so by honoring your, your parents, by honoring your mother, many fathers out there, you can call any man daddy, papa, whatever you want, but you only have one mother that carry you nine months, seven months, that carry you in the womb and gave birth to you. Psalm 139, 13. For thou hast possessed my reins, and thou hast covered me, in my mother's womb. See God cover you. In, while in your mother's womb. Amen. So if God has covered you. In your mother's womb. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And to close out my brothers and sisters. God is saying. To us. That we must honor mothers. Any elderly woman. That is a mother, your grandmother, your auntie who raised you, the mothers in your family, the women in your family that mother you, that like they were there for you, your grand aunt, remember those and have compassion on them also in their old age. And in the book of Second Kings, chapter four, verse thirty, and the mother of the child said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth. I will not leave thee and he arose and follow her proverbs 17 6 children children are the crown of old men and the glory of the children of the you are the glory of the children you are the glory of the children